Welcome to another pre-algebra video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this lesson, we will be looking at operations on integers. Since we have already learned operation on whole numbers, this lesson will be faster. Addition and subtraction of integers using the number line. Using the number line, the only thing you have to remember is that when you are adding, you move to the right, and when you are subtracting, you move to the left. Example, negative 5 plus 6. So we will start from the negative 5. Since it is adding, we will move 6 places to the right. So here is how we move. Now notice that we ended on 1. Therefore, 1 is our answer. Example 2. 4 minus 7. Let's bring our number line. Here we start with the 4. Since it is subtracting, we move 7 times to the left. This brings us to the number negative 3. So 4 minus 7 is negative 3. The idea of minus negative or plus negative there are times that you see two signs in the middle. It can be changed to a single operation. I will encourage you to do this first before you start to add or subtract. Example, if you are asked to find 3 minus negative 6, what you should know is that minus negative is addition. You will just change the sign to plus and solve. This will simply be 9. Of course, you can use the number line here to find your answer. Example 2. Let's look at 2 plus negative 4. Here, what you should know is that plus negative is the same as minus. This simply becomes 2 minus 4. We can use the number line to find it. We start from 2. Because it is minus, we move 4 to the left. This brings us to negative 2. A better way to add and subtract. When working with larger numbers, the idea of moving on the number line becomes impossible to use. So the method we are about to learn will be appropriate for solving all addition and subtraction of integers. 1. If your two numbers have the same sign, add them and keep the sign. 2. If your two numbers have different signs, subtract and use the sign of the larger number. Please pause this video and memorize this. It is extremely important. Example 1. Negative 3 minus 4. Please note that the middle operation is considered the sign of the second number. So the sign of the 3 is negative and the sign of the 4 is also negative. The rule is that if they have the same sign, then you should add the two numbers and keep the sign. So we add 3 and 4 to get 7 and we keep the negative. Final answer is negative 7. Example 2. 6 minus negative 5. Here we know that minus negative is plus. So we change that first. Now we have 6, which is positive, and 5, which is also positive. Same sign, add and keep. So our final answer will be positive 11. Example 3. Negative 6 plus 5. Here we notice that the 6 is negative and the 5 is positive. They therefore have different signs. The rule is different signs subtract and use the sign of the larger number. So we will do 6 minus 5. This is 1. 
Here we see that the larger number was six and the sign is negative. So we will use that. Final answer is therefore negative one. Hope you get what's going on so far. Multiplication and division. Multiplication and division is actually easier if you remember your multiplication table. The rules here are, one, when you multiply or divide two numbers having the same sign, the answer is positive. Two, when you multiply or divide two numbers having different signs, the answer is negative. Please do not confuse this with the rules of addition and subtraction. Example, negative 30 times 2 will be negative 60. The answer is negative because they have different signs. One of our value is negative and the other is positive. Notice that we are spending no time explaining the actual multiplication because it is exactly like what we did for whole numbers. The only new thing is the negatives. Example two, negative 60 divided by negative three. Here we divide to get 20. Notice that our answer is positive because both numbers have the same sign. This is negative and this is also negative. Exponents on negative integers. We are looking at just negative integers because the idea of positive integers is just like whole number. Let's say we have negative five exponent two. We said exponents show us how many times a number multiplies itself. So this is the same as negative five times negative five. Now we have learned that since these numbers have the same sign, the final answer will be positive. We have 25. Let's say now we have negative five exponent three. This will be negative five times negative five times negative five. Working on two at a time, we know we will have positive 25 when we multiply these two. Now we multiply the 25 by the negative five. Our final answer will now be negative because we have one number positive and the other number negative. So the rule is when you have an even exponent, example, two, four, six, on a negative number, your answer is always positive. When you have an odd number exponent, example, three, five, seven, on a negative number, your answer is always negative. There are a few more things we want to look at before we conclude our lesson on integers. We will look at that in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.
Thanks for watching. Encourage us to post more videos by liking and sharing. Also visit ultimatealgebra.com for more exclusive videos and get our free course that will help you build a strong math foundation and pass your next test easily.